Welcome back to a brand new PTG live video. Today I'll be showcasing the B drill from 151 with the newly released set Shrouded Fable. So that being said, let's get into the deck list. Let's see which new cards we'll be running. So we do run the four Weedle, the two Kakuna, and the four B drill in this deck. And the main attack that we're interested in is the Nadir Needle, which has 30 base damage. And if we have no cards in our hand, we can do an extra 120 damage as well as put paralysis and poison status on your opponent's active Pokemon. So to help us accomplish this zero card hand, we do run the two copies of Scovid here, where once per turn we can shuffle our hand and put it on the bottom of our deck and then just draw one card. So after we use Scovid's ability for that one card draw, we can combine it with the new Academy at Night Stadium card, where once per turn each player could put a card from their hand on the top of their deck and now we have a zero card hand and we'll be able to use the Nadir Needle with all the extra damage and status conditions. For our ace spec we do run the secret box where we do discard three cards from our hand to use this card and then we can search out our deck for an item card, tool card, supporter card as well as a stadium card. For our supporter cards, we do run the four copies of Arvin, very good for a stage two deck. We can search an item card and a tool card with Arvin. We have the one copy of Boss's Orders for gusting up one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. We have the one copy of Colorus's Tenacity, where we can search out our deck for a stadium card and a energy card, including special energies. We also have the two copies of Hassle here, where if we had a Pokemon knocked out last turn, we can look at the top eight cards of our deck and put three of them into our hand and then shuffle the others back into the deck. We also have the two copies of Iono for draw support and disruption. And lastly, with the one copy of Penny to put a basic Pokemon back into our hand. For our tool cards, we have the one copy of Rescue Board, the one copy of TM Devolution, just in case we go up against a stage two deck. The one copy of TM Evolution, just in case we go second on our first turn, we can evolve up to Pokemon. And for the energies, we have the four double turbos as well as the four reversal energies. So those are all of the cards in this deck that I want to talk about and let us see how it'll do in the matches. Okay, they are going first. So we still have a chance uh, to do well going second. Oh, we didn't get an energy. Yeah, if we had an energy in Arvin, we could have tried the TM Evo, but we don't. See the Nest Ball. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Reg Drago. Yeah, they do get the squawk even, so um, they're discarding those two cards. You get six new ones. They do use Night Stretcher. Yeah, they just discard the Kiram anyway. So I feel like we're probably going to need Mana Fee here also. Saying the Ultra, the Orphan Vessel, I mean. I get fire and grass. I teal dance again. Yeah, it is looking pretty bad. That's because they're so well set up, honestly. Let's get rid of both of these. And we get the Mana Fiend. And let's go for the Grasping Draw. Nice. That's pretty good. Two Arvins. 
And we got the double turbo that we need and the academy at night. Because I feel like there's no point of using Iono for them to help them out. The only loss is really that hassle. And we'll just have to pal pad later if we want it. Ooh, they got another energy switch. Do they have the Dragapult in there? They do not, but they just got rid of it. So, one of our Weedles are de is definitely going down. Yeah, they're going to Drago. So, they're going to put those six damage counters to probably for uh, Dragapult. They Nest Ball. And they still need to use the Legacy Star. Oh, well, actually, they don't use Legacy Star here. They go straight for the Apex Dragon for Phantom Dive. Yep, there goes the Weedle. 10 on Mana Fee. Team Diva. Hmm. Let's put down the Ursaluna. The Academy at nine. Then let's starve in for. That's so on. We don't have a single buddy popping in the deck. We only used one. So you're telling me three buddy poffins got prized? That's crazy. Three buddy poffins got prized. See, it's the nest stash. We get rare candy. I'll just have to put that on top. That is crazy. Two buddy poffins getting prized like that. No, three of them apparently. Yeah. See, so they attach a fire energy. Earthen Vessels, and what's really bad if we can't set up another B drill, I feel like we kind of lose. The Earthen Vessel for two grass. They Teal Dance, okay, so... I feel like they're probably not even going to use the Legacy Star unless they lose something really good to the discard pile. Canceling Cologne. Earthen Vessel. Okay, I'm not sure why they use Cannes and Cologne. Ooh, interesting. They do research. They got nine cards now in their deck. Let's see, they put down Temple of Sinnoh. Mm. Yeah, it might be kind of hard to find another Academy at night at this point. They go for Legacy Star. So it looks like they might get a switch out of the discard pile. They get Energy Switch and Superior Energy Retrieval. Which I'm kind of surprised. Let's use the nest stash. Nest ball. Guess let's use Radiant Venusaur.
Yeah, not really just... Temple of Sinna. So bad. And they still go for Teal Dance here. I'm not sure why. Like, they basically lost unless they use Iona because they, that, they will deck out. And they only taken two prizes. I don't know if they can take four prizes. They just go for Apex Dragon. Going to Ursaluna. Yeah, let's just go for the Blood Moon. And they basically still lose because they don't draw any cards. So we get there's a buddy popping in reversal. Yeah, and they do lose for decking out. Wow, are you joking? Of all the basics we could have gotten, we get Radiant Venusaur. Hmm, maybe we could try for the secret box. Get rid of Devo and the two supporters. Looks like they're gonna be Roaring Moon EX, so there's a Beedrill. I find there's really no choice. Now let's actually get Arvin, Buddy Poffin. Yeah, let's just pass. Pretty tough to play this. They play tracking shoes. Hopefully our opponent doesn't just have like some ridiculous hand. They do find Spock though. I get Greninja. I am kind of actually hoping that they will take that first turn knockout, get rid of our Radiant Venusaur. Let's see, they poke a gear. They don't find anything. They still have to use Spock and Seize though. See, and they got two out of three for the item cards for Pokestop. They do lose Sada, and they are already also lost two Judge. 
see. Looks like they poker geared and found the saddle. So. My orphan vessel. So maybe they won't get the knockout actually. They're gonna have to like dark patch three times and then use Petro and subjugating chains to switch in that Roaring Moon from the bench. And I really doubt it. Yeah, they do pass. Oh wow. I feel like we'll just set up more, get Arvin, get another Buddy Poffin. Yeah, he'll just pass. Sunny Bloom for one. There's a reversal. Let's see, they get the Santa down. Hopefully they don't use Pokemon Catcher, maybe. Gust up our Beedrill. They have one in the discard, so maybe not. Nope, they still have it. And it does work. Yeah, there goes Beedrill. Okay, I don't know why they went for the Scovid. Yeah, let's try Pokestop. Let's go for the Nest Dash. See, a Kakuna. That works. So I feel like kind of a misplay to go for the Scoven. But then again, we have to get lucky to get that buddy popping off of Pocus up. So we Sunny Bloom for two. So they got 10 cards in their hand. Let's see if we can make this work. Yeah, they already used three Sandos. They get rid of our academy at night, so that's not good. That is only our first one though, so. And they do use Sado. They bench a single prize Roaring Moon. Put an energy on it, okay. So they probably realize that they can't keep losing two prizers. They're probably going to retreat out, in my opinion. I don't think they're hanging out with their EX. And also, they just get the free switch in with the Petron.
Let's see. Hand our bosses in the um, discard pile. Yeah, they are switching out into their single prize germ. A super run. Mm. Yeah, let's use hassle. Yeah, maybe let's get another hassle. I'll triple all the Arvin away. Sadly, the hass still has to go. Maybe let's get rid of the super run, actually. Help had boss and hassle. Use the nest stash. See counter catcher. Can't use that. Go for the knockout. See, there's that Ursaluna. Yeah, let's use Sunny Bloom. Tracking shoes. I wonder what they find. They pass up on Ultra Ball. So I feel like when they knock out Beedrill, we'll just go right into Kalefa here. use the counter catcher unfortunately let's see this ball yeah not much again yeah, I think we need two energies to attack. I won't be needing TM Evo. Let's use Nestash. Before you get the double turbo. Shall we go for the attack? Maybe let's just go for the attack. Because we still need time to set up the Beedrill. And I don't know why the Sunny Bloom's not working. Okay, there we go. Let's 
see. I should still have the switch in our deck. We put our Roaring Moon on the bench. So I'm thinking maybe they go for the Frenzy Gouging would actually kind of be the best case scenario. They knock out the Ursaluna. And then we can use Hassel to set up Beedrill. And just take the knockout on whatever they send out. Let's see. They're sending their Petrant, which would do 180, I believe. Yeah, 180. Yeah, they definitely do go for Frenzied Gouging. I feel like there's a good chance we could just knock out whatever they send out. So what we get? We the Arvin and Weedle. And for some reason they go into the squat actually. Hmm. Yeah, we won't be able to play boss. Yeah, that's actually kind of unfortunate. Let's use a mustache. Let's see when we get a quaffa. So there's a boss and counter catcher. Yeah. They basically won this. And we do oh actually we don't get Mulligan, we do get a Scoven. See they got mana thing. Yeah, let's pass. Let's see, they play Wiglet. So it looks like they're gonna be just a mill back here. They play Buddy Puffin. So our reversal energies are completely useless here. Completely. Yeah, well, let's go for the TM Evo. Oh wow, only one Kakuna, so one got prized. See, they get B roll down. 
Patch double turbo. They got two double turbos on the Wiglet. They put down Mimikyu. They draw three of the incised birds. Heavy ball. So and there's a colorist experiment. See, they nest ball. They got their own scovid, okay. Yeah, these these control decks can really be boring sometimes. Let's put out the academy at night. Let's use Nestash. See what we can get. Nice. There's a bee drill. Let's retreat out. Let's knock out the mana fiend. So we get a cocoon now. They go into their wiglet. So I'm kind of surprised to not see two reversal energies and have two double turbos. So yeah, there's a reversal on the wiglet. They got a Bidoof down. Yeah, and they go for the counter catcher, probably for this Weedle or Scoven, yeah. Hmm, they do use Iona, which kind of just helps us. Let's see what we can get. They get their Rug Trio. Yeah, and they go for their undersea tunnel. It's one tails, one heads only. Let's go for the nest stash. Let's go and get a bee drill. Use the cannon at night. Knock them out. Hopefully there's not another counter catcher. Let's see, let's see what we draw. There's Colorus's tenacity. They do they go into their other work tray of reversal energy. So let's see. They Nespo. They get another wiglet. They put reversal on it. They use Misfortune Sisters, which we don't have that many item cards. Oh wow, they actually do discard some. I think it was just the Rare Candy. Yeah, it was just Rare Candy. And they put down Neutralization Zone. See, one heads, two heads. So that's six cards. Hmm, can't you lose those academies at night? We only have one left in the deck. Let's use Colorus. Let's use the stash. We really don't need the Arvin. Let's see, rare candy. Put that on the top of the deck. Now I got the Wiglug Trio.
Two legged. Another very handy. <laughs> See, there's a boss. Do we still have our rescue board? It should still be in the deck. So it feels like it just depends on if they get rid of our last stadium card, I feel like we're basically done. That's the last one. Let's see what they get for the undersea tunnel. One tails, two tails, wow, three tails in a row. Let's use the stash. I got a secret box. Yeah, we just have to pass. They use the academy at night for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe just so they can draw something with the Ebrel. They use Iona, interestingly. Let's see, they play Wigglet. No reversal on it. Iona kind of did help us. We did get the secret box back into our hand. They use incisors for one. What is this? One head. So three cards. Not the worst. Could have been way worse than that. Yeah, let's use secret box. Yeah, let's get that rescue board that we need. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's mainly just the rescue board, I guess. It's not got look trio. Hey, buddy, Poffin. And there's another bug trio. They super run. Let's see if there's any more counter catchers. They used how many? One? Did we use one counter catcher, one boss? What's in the lost zone? One counter catcher's in the lost zone. That's two of them. I'm pretty sure they have two more. They bench another Wiglet, and they attach a Psychic Energy to it. They only got 20-ish cards in their deck, so I'm pretty sure if they had it, they would use it. And maybe it got prized, because they don't take any prizes. Oh wow, they do play the Artisan. Let's see... Two heads here. So I got knock out wood trio. Um. 
so close. We just need one more prize, Reversal Energy, which is pretty worthless <laughs> for this matchup because we will never be behind in prizes against one of these mill decks. I put down a Wug Trio. These Misfortune Sisters, which we don't have that many item cards. How many items did they get? Two of them. Rare Cannon and Ultra Ball. Oh, they do have Ursaluna. Which they might go into it. They get a reversal energy to retreat out with, maybe, or a switch, or some kind of other switching option. Yeah, they do put down double turbo, so they could just retreat out. Knock us out with the Ursaluna. Oh no, they go for the Undersea Tunnel. Let's see. They get two heads on this one. So we basically do win. If I don't draw something. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, let's use the Nest Dash. Oh wow, that is so bad. Wow, we're so close. You know what? Let's artisan for the other Scovid maybe, if it's in a deck. It is not. Yeah, we'll just have to end turn. That was so close. If they even get two heads, they basically win. See, they palpin. So only if we didn't draw a double energy, which was really bad to get two energies. If we only drew something else, like an item card, like a nest ball or a buddy poffin, it would have been much better. Or even an ultra ball or something. Well, no, we'd only had two cards then. Oh, wow. Only one heads. So yeah, we got two chances here. We could use the Iono and the Nestash. Wow, that is not lucky at all. Let's use the Nestash. A supporter card, I can't believe it. Nice, there's a double turbo we can attach. And we can knock out Wug Trio. Nice, there's the last prize. Well, those are all the games. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.